these bags here, I have, uh, in the bottom, I have a, a wooden block that I put in the bags, which of course is for weight. That way you know that the bags will be held upright. They won't tip over. Uh, these wooden blocks are also serve another purpose. And the other purpose is rather sinister because the wooden blocks hold one of these metal spikes. The spike kind of goes up inside like this. And I was wondering if I could borrow your hand for a second. What's your name? Jake. Jake. Tap your hand briefly on that. If that that's pretty sharp, right? It is. Would, would that, that would go through your hand, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah, it would kind of freak you out, wouldn't it? Damn right it would. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so we're going to take that spike and place it down inside one of the bags like this. Uh, the other four bags, of course, are harmless. Uh, one is the dangerous bag. Now, I'm going to mix these around so you can't exactly know which bag contains the spike, Jake. Uh, but what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to tell you that I've actually been very fortunate in my life to, I think, have what uh, I call a guardian angel. And that guardian angel is my Uncle Jack. Uncle Jack uh, used to carry around a lucky rabbit's foot. I have the lucky rabbit's foot here. It's attached to the rabbit. <laughs> You'll notice he's wearing a little human foot. <laughs> <laughs> for good luck. So uh, there it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, toss out the rabbit into the audience. I'd like somebody to catch the, the bunny rabbit that my Uncle Jack gave me. Hi. How you doing? You got the uh, rabbit there? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you, what is your name? Mark. Mark. You, do you know where the spike is at this point? No. no, no idea. Neither do I, as a matter of fact. They all pretty much weigh the same. The spike's only about four ounces. So I'm just going to mix these around. And I want you to ask, tell me where to place the bags. We have position number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Where would you nominate this bag to go? One, two, three, four, or five? Four. Four. Okay, so we'll place that in position number four. Uh, where would you like ba this bag to go? One, two, three, four, or five? Uh, two. Position number two. That's fair enough. And uh, where would you like this bag to go? Let's go with five. Five. We'll put it all the way down here in the end. Uh, this bag? Three, position number three, and last but not least, we'll put this into position number one. If you would, um, I'm going to ask someone else just to make this even more random. Uh, would you come up for just a second? Change the position of any two bags so I can't see which, uh, which position you've changed. I'm going to look over here. Once you've changed the position of two bags, change the position of two more so there's no way I could know. Once you've done that, take a glance, make sure there's no marks in the bags, no special folds, no uh, black magic marker, nothing that would tell me where the spike is. Have you done that? Yes. Excellent. And you're pretty convinced that that's pretty fair. I am. Do you know where the spike is? No. Okay, good. Neither do I. Please have a seat. Thank you so much. What I'd like you to do is toss that rabbit to someone else. <laughs> Very good. I should mention, by the way, that I also do have an apple. This will come into play later in the trick for dramatic effect. <laughs> good. And uh, what is your name again? Dale. 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 I'd like you to nominate a bag for me that you think is safe. Bag one, two, three, four, or five. Which one do you think is safe? Tap into the energy that that rabbit has from my Uncle Jack, my guardian angel. Give me a bag, one, two, three, four, five, that you think is safe. This being number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Which one is safe? Four. Four. You are absolutely right. Yes. <laughs> Clean up on aisle five. Clean up on aisle five. Uh, of course, that is just a uh, wooden block uh, and a bag. Dale, toss that rabbit to somebody else, if you would. Hi, what's your name? Nick. Nick, would you please nominate another bag? One, two, three, or five? Uh, one. One. Exactly. As I said, bag number one, perfectly safe. My Uncle Jack doesn't let me down. Nick, toss that bag to someone else. Rabbit, as it were. Hi there, sir. What is your name? Gary. Gary. Gary, we have bag. Let's call this one, two, or three. Which one do you feel is safe? One, two, or three? Three. Damn. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yes. Absolutely positive. Yes. Want to change your mind? No, sir. Happy with the mind you have. Three it is. Fair enough. Bag number three. Toss that to someone else. Hi, what's your name? I'm David. David. Two bags left. Bag number one and bag number two. David, this is where the odds go down to 50-50. <laughs> and a coin toss, that's okay. But when personal injury is in effect, it's a whole different object. Toss me the rabbit. Wait. 
<laughs> Keep the rabbit for a second before you make your decision. Do you think this one is safe or this one is safe? One is safe or two is safe? Two is safe. Two is safe. You're absolutely positive. No. Good. <laughs> feel that rabbit, stroke that rabbit, love him and stroke him and kiss him and squeeze him and feel it. Is number two safe? Yeah, I'm feeling it now. Good. Toss me the rabbit. This one is safe, which means this one is not safe. You know, they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> safe? Safe. Safe. Which means that this one absolutely is the dangerous one. Thank you so much.